Playing PS2 games on your computer is probably easier than you originally thought. There's only a few things you really need. You need some kind of controller, um, Xbox 360, PS3, those controllers will work perfectly fine. For this video, I will just be using an Xbox 360 controller. It's not even an official one, but it should work perfectly fine. Um, you also need a PlayStation 2 ISO. Now it's entirely up to you where you decide to get your ISOs from. If you guys have a PlayStation 3 with custom firmware, you can actually turn your discs into ISOs on that or you can put your discs into your computer if you have like a CD drive and you can actually burn the ISO onto your computer and keep it on there or of course you can download it online but I won't be showing you guys how to do that. You'll also need some kind of PS2 BIOS. Now I cannot show you guys how to actually get these because I'm not actually allowed to give these files away. But if you just go onto Google and type in PlayStation 2 BIOS download you should be able to find it fairly easily. Okay, so what you guys want to do, of course I will show you my downloads folder in a second so you guys can follow along with what I'm doing. But you want to go to this website, the link will be in the description. This is called PCSX2. This is the best PlayStation 2 emulator you can get for your PC. And what you want to do is go to the download section. So it says download, get PCSX2 here. What you want to do is choose your operating system. In this video, my computer is running Windows 10, so I'm going to click on Windows. Now it's given us an option of two kind of download options. We've got the first one and we've got the second one. What we want to do is choose the standalone installer. Don't click on any of the adverts. Go over to the blue download button right here and we're just going to click on download. We've then just got to wait five seconds and it will download the setup for us. So here is the file I just downloaded. Here is my PlayStation 2 game. If you back up PlayStation 2 games, they will typically be in the ISO format. Also, if you download them online, they will also be in the ISO format. My game is called Dark Watch, and I got the USA version. I actually do have a PAL PS2 in real life, but I just got a USA ISO right here. I also have my PS2 BIOS folder. If I just double click on this, it's a zip file I got. Um, I actually got this online. You guys can search for them as well. As you can see, it has all of the bin files for all different types of biases. This is as Europe, Japan, all of the biases you will need to load anything. So what we want to do first is actually set up the emulator. So we're going to get the setup exe and we're going to double click on it and we're just going to go through the setup process. So first of all you just want to click on yes um, when you get that box that appears and now we want to go through with the setup. So if you want a desktop shortcut you can tick on this one. I actually don't need one for now. Um, start menu you can leave everything else how it is. We're then going to click on next. We're now going to click on install and remember where it installs it. You should be able to edit the files in your documents as well, but we're just going to click on install. And now you just have to wait for it. Shouldn't really take too long, only a couple of seconds to actually install this emulator. And when it's done, you can actually just click on close. So now what we're going to do is we're actually going to start the emulator up. So you want to go and find it. If you're on Windows, what you can do is click on your search icon and you can actually search for it. So if you just type in PCSX2, it will actually come up. It should have an app on it. As you can see, we now uninstalled it. So what I'm going to do is just click on this and we're actually going to launch it up. Language selector, you can pretty much choose whatever language you want. Um, you can choose English or you can choose normal English. Is it only English US for me? Maybe it's only English US. I'll just apply that one. And there you go. If you want to change the language, you can go ahead and do that. What I'm going to do is click on next. It's then just going to um, check all of the plugins. As you can see, it's checking in the program files. If you guys wish to get plugins, you can get them off the website, or you can do a Google search and you can find maybe like different plugins for different games. Um, you just have to wait for this. It shouldn't really take too long. Okay, so once that is done, um, you can configure stuff if you want to. You configure the USB drivers. It should be okay just to leave as this. We're just going to click next on this part and then it's just going to say applying settings. Now on this list, what we actually want to do is we want to put our BIOS in the correct folder. So you can just click out of this. You want to find your BIOS zip file. If you've got it in a zip file, you want to right click it and you want to go down to copy. So next, you want to go to your PC's document. So what you can do, you can click on this PC at the top and you just want to type in slash um, documents so forward slash documents and then forward slash again and PC 
PCSX2 and then just press enter. This will bring you to the PCSX2 file. Then you're looking for BIOS, so double click on this one, right click and paste in your zip file. And then what we can actually do is extract the zip file in here. So if you're using WinRAR or 7-zip or you've just got a normal zip file software, right click it and you should be able to extract it. It might be called extract here or extract. Anyway, just extract it. And as you can see for me, it's given me a ton of different BIOSes. This is pretty much the ultimate PS2 BIOS pack. Maybe I will try and get one of my friends to put it in the comments of this video or something. Now what we can do is open up the emulator and you want to click on refresh list. It's then going to refresh it and as you guys can see we've got China, we've got Europe. Now you want to choose the one that depends on your ROM. Because I'm using USA, I'm going to use a USA BIOS. So I'm going to use a, it doesn't really matter I guess, I guess I use 2008 BIOS. So what I'm going to do is select this one and now I'm just going to click on finish. As it says here, you cannot use a copy obtain it from a friend or the internet. Um, I guess I did that, but oh well. You want to just click on finish and then it's going to open just like this. Now this is pretty much the PS2, um, I guess kind of like the PS2 home screen for this emulator. You've got system, you've got CD, DVD, config, misc and debug. What we can do now is actually set up our controller. If we go into config and go into controllers and just click on this one and then we should be able to plug in our Xbox controller. So I've actually got mine plugged in right now. If we go into plugin settings and then go into pad one, it should be connected as the first pad. Um, you can actually test it and it should actually be working. As you can see, it's kind of already configured it out and it should be working okay. So we can just click on apply and okay. And now what we need to do, we need to go back to our downloads folder and we need to find our ISO game. So with our ISO, what we're gonna do, we're gonna right click and we're gonna copy this and we're going to put it back into the PCSX2 file folder documents pcsx2 go back to this one and we can actually right click create a new folder now you can call this whatever you want i'm going to call it iso i'm going to go into this and i'm going to right click and paste and we're going to put all of our games into the iso folder so if you guys more have more than one iso this is where you will put all of them Okay guys, so my ISOs are done. They took a few minutes, but it's okay. What we can actually do is close off this kind of like message right here. We can go onto CD, DVD, ISO selector, and now just click on browse. Then you just need to go into your ISO folder and you need to choose the game you want to play and just click on open. Next, we need to go over to system and we need to choose this one, boot C DVD full, and this will actually boot up your PlayStation 2 game. And what we can do, um, sound should be working through your headphones, so just make sure that works. And what we can actually do is just wait for this to load up and we should be able to play the game perfectly fine. Saves will work as well and everything should work okay. Now what you wanna do is pick up your PS3 or Xbox 360 controller and you just want to test it for me everything seems to be working okay i'm just choosing some random settings and um yeah what i'm gonna do is actually just start the game now if you guys would like to full screen the game what you can actually do is press on um, the maximize button and now we've got the game in full screen as well and there you go guys that is how you play playstation 2 games on your computer if you're using windows 10 you can follow this along very easily um, obviously this is going to be like different on different computers but for me it was very easy to do so i'm just going to start a quick game just to prove to you guys i can play this completely fine if it says formatting memory card, you can actually format it. Whatever game you play, it will probably ask you to format it. And then it will start saving, and then you will be able to load your saves. So I'm just going to go on a quick single player match, and let me just prove to you that this actually works. And as you can see, the quality is a lot better than what it would be on your PS2, and the sound works and everything like that. If you guys want plugins to change the graphics, they're different for each game, um, but you can get quite a few of them over on their website. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.